All right, we're we're not all alive, but we're back. And we're furries. We're back. We're back oh. in, in the corner over here. I love saying it. Hey, Lish, is this for Signing persona? off. No. <laughs> Are you I'm sure not you drawing. Yet? I'm trying to figure out where my zone is. Because oh. I don't go for this hippy dippy shit. I miss the grit. I'll say it. <laughs> I really like your creation here. Yeah. Let's just say we're gonna delete this before we get demonetized. Okay, so really quickly, just so we can dive into the good meat of it. Um, this is it. I mean, this is finally it. This, <laughs> this is it. We're we are doing. Has this been requested, or did we just decide? This has been requested we were... many times. This is obviously requested. Okay. We are drawing ourselves as. Yes. Well. Oh yeah. We're, we're drawing good. our personas. Let's yeah, get wait, something. What's the distinguish? Wait. Well, because oh, my. <laughs> in my in my case particularly, this is less of a representation of my animal self and more of a <laughs> projection of everything that I think is cool about animals, and then also some physical attributes that you could associate with me. Okay. Why is that? Different? I, okay, I feel like the the point of a persona is that it's. It's not you're capturing the most accurate version of yourself in animal form. It's just that you're doing the coolest yeah, thing I think you can think of. Yeah, I think it's what you think is I feel cool. like it is the most self-indulgent thing you can do. Well, I think it depends. I think some people make their fursonas and it's like, you know, I am definitely a wolf. And here's, you know, just my inner spirit projected as, as a physical being. But then other people are like, I'm not a wolf. I'm a dragon with golden eyes. For if you could create your most indulgent fursona, like it could be a crab, it could be a bee, it could be a dinosaur, what would your fursona look like? If you haven't already created it. And if you have already created your fursona, what is your fursona and how indulgent is it? I do feel like people change their fur. Okay, so full disclosure, none of us are furries. Well. Um, <laughs> to so our knowledge, none of us like are the... furries, at least until the end of this video. So we we might be ignorant in some ways that's a distinct yeah let's let's do a disclaimer right now if you're a furry and you're doing it right more power to you have fun oh. we want to dip our toes in yeah i i'm i'm you know go easy on us here i i feel like the furry community is nothing if not accepting right you're here to you're you're here to find other people with like-minded you know thoughts and opinions Unless you're like my dad's perception, which is apparently that goat furries get bullied. I don't know if this is true or not. <laughs> Wait, where did he get that from? He I just know. learned what furries are, and the first thing he said was, oh, so like, oh, Jack, if someone a has a, a goat persona, do they get bullied? Yeah, well, I explained to my dad what yeah. furries were, and he was like, oh, yeah, I bet the goat furries get bullied. And I was like, what? And he's like, yeah, like. So your dad, your dad was just like, all right, what is the the weakest, stupidest animal I could possibly pick? And he I have no, goat. I have no idea where he got goat from. Like, it was so funny. He just, I explained the whole thing to me. He didn't say anything. And then all of a sudden he was just like, so do the people make fun of the, the goat furries? I, I like that that's immediately where his mind went. It does seem yeah, illuminating. I like that he was like natural it? selection, like the like actual like predator versus prey is is, play, is a factor here. And yeah. Okay, I feel like the most important question and anyone that's a true, a true blue um, in the comments sound off what I feel like the definition of furry has gotten very skewed. Um, no, we were having this and discussion. I, we're, th there's been a debate. Our, okay, people here are saying that the, the Zootopia animals are not furries. I, okay. I it's fucking bullshit. No, they, it's they're, mixed. They're I think furries. they are because it was advertised as a furry movie. There are two different approaches to making animal like cartoon characters that are like humans, right? There's anthropomorphization, which is when you give a human body animal attributes. Right. Maybe I got that backwards. And then or, there's yeah. a different word for it, which I can't remember. There's personification, which is, I think, when you make an animal like Judy Hopps into a cop, I think. I could learn about furries backwards. in ninth grade know. English. No, the difference between because they're literary devices. I do remember and talking about and, and, and yeah. pers personification. No. If you personify something, that's to give it personhood. So, if you make a bunny a cop, that's 
that's personification. But if you make a bunny a sexy basketball player, <laughs> that's, that's anthrop- anthropomorphization. Okay. <laughs> I, I, think. I, uh, I don't know. I... Well, maybe the anthropomorphization is more the furry. That's more of what people think of as being furries. I mean, yeah, there's like the most, like, there's like the iconic, you know, symbol of the furry. What, what I feel like what everyone pictures. But then, obviously, there's so many different routes. Like, like there's the Utopia route, the, the Robin Hood route, um, spa- spa- the Space Jam route. Uh, pretty, pretty iconic in a lot of ways. Um, Hot topic right now. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> oh, that is a whole that's a loaded topic right there. You gotta be careful. <laughs> if you care about that, actually, you know what? I'm gonna avoid it. I'm gonna avoid <laughs> that issue. Do you I'm dare to invite the, the controversy? I'm like, I subjectively, when I thought that like you know two people would see this, so it doesn't matter. But I, I don't really want anyone to have to um, turn off the comments. <laughs> well, here's here's really my take on it. Not on Lola Bunny's Nerf boobs, but on. Okay. He said it. He said it. He said it it directly. He said it right that time. Oh my god, it's the thumbnail. (laughs) It's the thumbnail. But, okay, no. Just in terms of like when a a cartoon animal becomes a furry and when it's just a cartoon animal, I I, I think Madagascar. There's a line. There's a a line. Okay, so Madagascar. Okay, first of all, good movie. I like Madagascar. It's a solid B. Melman. That's just a cartoon giraffe. Sometimes he stands on his back legs, but for the most part, he's a cartoon giraffe. Then you have Alex. He's always- Alex is a furry. Alex is always standing on his hind legs. He has thumbs and- He's handsome. And he's handsome. But also, it's important- I don't agree. It's an important distinction because Alex, at the end of the movie, he becomes feral. He reverts back to his, his monstrous animal instincts. And then he's on four legs again. So it was important to the story that he was on both on his back legs, not just to make him a furry, but as a plot device later on in the movie. See, that's personification. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. And even though earlier I said that that makes you a furry, I don't think he's a furry. No, no I, I don't think Alex so either. Is a fr- Alex is a furry, but like Marty oh. is No, Alex Marty is not is a, a furry. Zebra. Guys, Alex is not a furry. The dare lion is a furry because yeah, okay. he wears yeah. clothes. Well, he's wearing clothes. That clothes do not play a factor. I've seen so I, many no, I feel like clothes do. Naked. Well, I've definitely I think seen naked that pecs, pecs and muscles are like an essential to being wait, a furry. Wait, okay. The dare Speaking lion pecs has pecs for Check sure, right? Chat. Wait, should we? are we explaining that we are uh, taking this test to find out what kind of furry we are? Oh yeah, we. <laughs> Should we go into detail about this? Because uh, I, I made some interesting discoveries, and um, I want this in the video. <laughs> I do think we need an explanation, but at just least read, for yours. Just read the image I just sent. The slaughter of innocence. <laughs> what is the context for that, Jade? I don't know. I searched prairie dog, which is what I was given. This is my assigned furry. So Jane and I um, are are basing this off of a quiz called Animal and Which you. is already crazy. Yeah, I keep misremembering it as Animal Inside You, which is a different thing. <laughs> um, um, I mean, it's kind <laughs> of the same thing. I know, that's what I, anyway. Uh, it was a pretty in-depth quiz to tell us what our, our inner animals are. Um, and Jane got Prairie Dog, and I got a Penguin. And we have something called Honor, so we're respecting the results of the quiz. Okay, here's the thing. I didn't take the quiz. I didn't either. I, I was told by other people what mine should be. Yeah, I just them. had an outside source tell me how to be a lemur. I, okay, I got Gorilla, which I'm not going to complain about. I just feel like it's not entirely faithful. I, I don't know if that test really knows me. And it's mostly just the physical part of it. Like, you think a gorilla, you think a big, beefy ape. I'm a I'm a skin, skinny, scrawny ape. But you love gorilla. I do love gorillas. And if, and if this is your idealized animal form. Well, you know what's even better than gorillas? Uh, crabs. Otters, I'm an otter. I'm, no, making, an otter. I'm making mine a crab, a crab furry because I don't think there are a lot of crab furries out there. So I want to say for the record, obviously I want to take this in like a, a cute Zootopia direction, but I feel like that's not what this video is really about. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and make it pretty human. You know, Claire, you're right, but that's not what I want to draw. So I'm you can gonna do take it the Zootopia. <laughs> I'm I'm challenging myself to make 
Oh, we have to name them to make my, my penguin so that. I think something I'm really struggling with with this is uh, the decision between prairie dogs don't have legs. <laughs> and I really, really want to give myself legs and pants. Yeah, that's why but, part of why I'm going more human. I'm a pretty proportioned person. I'm just small. Like, I don't have anything I can really exaggerate. But I would oh, say... Okay. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> that huh? the interpretation of the reader. Here we go. Back to our first discussion. Speaking of penguins, happy feet. They want... Wait, yeah. Oh no, those aren't furries. No, are they? no, those are oh, just God, those God. are definitely. Okay, penguins. this is the thing. Um, Gloria <laughs> has boobs. Yeah, she definitely the does. Female penguins. She undeniably boobs. does. But the male penguins don't have. They just look like penguins. Oh, that's so crazy because. The whole point of Happy Feet is it's about dancing. And environmentalism. And they, they, well, I mean, there's so Christianity. Saving the world. Yeah, I don't, okay, never mind. There's no singular point to it. But anyway, there's a lot of dancing in Happy Feet. And fucking, they mo capped human dancing for animals that don't have knees. But they didn't make them have knees because a penguin with knees would look fucking weird. And like, I, I would say that like the Surf's Up penguins are pretty much just penguins too. I feel, I feel like there is a, you know how there's like an uncanny valley? There's like a furry valley. With a drawing of a cartoon animal, you reach a critical no return point of it being more human than animal. I really don't want to draw cartoony eyes on this thing, but I feel like I'm obligated to. I, I don't know, mine's, I, I'm realizing the main reason there aren't crab furries is because it's really hard to meet in the middle between a crab face and a, a human face. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> Guys, this is just fucking the blue Alvin and the Chipmunks character. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Theodore? Theodore is the, yeah. No, Theodore's the small one. That's the thing of Simon. I don't know. I don't know what kind of otter I am because I keep going back and forth between all of them. I think I would rather be a river otter, but like... I'm just kind of vibing. I'm drawing myself with my best otter life. And you know how otters normally have clams? I have the bubble tea. Sounds good to me. Okay. Because I think drawing a fursona is about having fun first and foremost, so... Okay. I like that. I like that philosophy. My philosophy. For philosophy. Philosophy. I think another identity crisis I'm having right now is I no longer have poofs of hair on my head. And yeah. for so many years now, the easiest way to make a character look like me is to just give it a mohawk. But now my head is shaved. So... Well, my isn't blue, and I still like to draw blue sometimes. That's true. I it's do still imagine you with blue Jack. hair. You're yeah. free here. I guess I, I have free. a mohawk in my in my my soul. My soul has a mohawk. Okay, what's, so... like, a, what's like a Nick pose? I, I don't really have a pose. Oh, I'm what, thinking what's like, like a, hands like, up okay. behind your head. Like, the only thing I can think of is like, like holding a fireball. <laughs> that is what I picture you, Nick. You are, yeah, like like Claire said, you're either holding a fireball or you're walking with yeah. your hands behind your head. Yeah. I'm struggling with this tail. I gotta have a tail. I don't know where to put it. I just want to put it in a good place, not like a, you know. I'm struggling with I'm not I suggesting am. anything. I just want mm -hmm. to put it. And then the other question is like, does making a, an animal character more sexual intent like does that make it more of a furry i would say yes, yes making it yeah sexual, i do think the, it more the, a... the sex appeal is is a factor but i don't think it's what makes it a furry i think it's just what there's like there's like um a spectrum of being a furry i just don't know no. i just there are better examples of furries that we could talk about yeah tony the tiger he's... boom yeah. Oh, yeah 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 he's definitely he's a furry you know about the tony the tiger lore right Oh, he's Italian American. That he's supposed to appeal to the Italian American working class family. That reminds me of something a college professor we had said, because he, he discovered drawing furries as a way to kind of get away from society's expectations from his identity. You know, animals as a whole are just easier to relate to. Yeah. Because there's that degree of separation, and I think that's what's cool about making personas and characters that represent you. Uh, okay, who is like who is the most iconic furry of all time? I feel like it's um. Well, probably Zootopia the dare. now. Star the dare, Fox. The... Star Fox. How do we feel about that one? <laughs> Crystal. I hate Crystal. <laughs> I do feel like Disney's Crystal. Ro Wait, Disney's Robin Hood. 
I was thinking yeah. that, but it's not so popular. I definitely uh, think I mean, that it formed a lot of furries. I think. Yeah, that... I do think it was formulative. Uh, Crystal's still pretty popular. <laughs> I see. That's the thing. Like, I would say Star Fox. How many people really give a shit about Star Fox? You don't have to no, play the game. I think it's more about Crystal. <gasps> oh my god, like the webkin, the webkin's dog, the, the miner. Yeah, is he a furry? Yeah, yeah. I feel like the the webkin's He's a dog wearing a jacket. Furries. Probably a problem, you know? There's gatekeeping. It's like, oh well, this isn't a furry, and it's like, well, who are you to tell me it's not a furry? What do you think draws someone to make a furry instead of making just a silly little cartoon guy? I feel you like know? there there it's is powerful. definitely an element of escapism. Well, I mean, obviously, or you just like draw you like animals more than people. So as as someone who as a kid really liked to identify with the I like animals more than people kind of persona, I think that there's an element of desire to feel related to to feel sympathy towards like when i was a kid i told you about the story like where i was like 12 and i was in the car and we passed by a deer that had been hit by a car and was dead on the side of the road and i was like how come no one's throwing a funeral for that deer and that was like me projecting a feeling of like no one appreciated me or that no one cared for me that was me projecting sure. that onto a dead animal on the side of the road so i think part of it is like that where it's like they want to give love to different things that they feel like don't give a, enough love, like a crab or a lobster or a, a dog or whatever. And then I think the other part of it is just a little bit more easy, which is like being a wolf person makes you feel stronger than just being a regular person. It's cool to pick out an animal that you think is cool and be like, yeah, that's me. Yeah. Plus it is this a This is me, Claire, I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> you are. You look like you can't see very well, but. I think story. it's really cool that, like, pretty much as long as humans have existed, they've always pointed to other creatures and been like, that's me. That's <laughs> true. Yeah, I, I think it's a very, I mean, we're always connected to animal spirits in some way or another. Like, every culture all around the world has some connection to animals that are always going to be part of our world. And we can draw parallels between our lives and the lives of animals. Stories are a lot more fun when you sort of use animals as a symbol to represent things that we're familiar with in our everyday lives. There have always been furries. Oh, cool. There have always been furries. Furries are eternal. But yeah, wow. actually true. Look at like Egyptian, ancient Egyptian gods. Those were furries. I just are those furries? Do you know how much history and how much stardust and how much had to happen for everything to align for like our concept of what a furry is to exist at all? Like early internet culture, small community based, 2000s had to happen. Like that time period had to happen first. That's true. Because did furries exist the way they do before like the internet? Oh yeah. I, think, I don't think so. It goes back to Robin Hood. Yeah, I think <laughs> that, no, but like, like, I think that the difference between now and 200 years ago when it comes to things like furries is just that it's so much easier for people to share and you know collaborate and you know get into a community of those of like-minded people because of the internet but like i would guarantee you that if you found some sailor from you know 1839 who was out at sea for two years and he had a sketchbook with him i would guarantee there's at least one guy out there that drew like a, you know, a wolf man version of himself. White mane of the foamy seas or something, and he breaks Eight, free. Three, nine. <laughs> That's just... I don't know if I buy this scenario, Jack. It's, it's very specific. Well, okay, but you get what I'm saying. Like, I do think that people have imagined themselves as animals before the 2000 era. And Is that think... all it takes to be a furry? Is imagining yourself as an animal? I mean, maybe not a modern day furry. Disney set the precedent that if you make these animal creatures sing and dance, you'll make a lot of money. That's true. I spent a really, really long time working on these otter feats, and I'm uh, <laughs> worried about how that might be interpreted. <laughs> <laughs> Spirit. <laughs> I want to see if there's a way I can make. Are you giving yours a fucking puffle or whatever? Yeah, the I'm fuck trying to draw a puffle. <laughs> But then that raises the other question. Can furries have pets? Ooh, Mine can. The ethical dilemmas. Like, you know, Arthur has a dog. Arthur is pretty clearly a furry. That whole universe, they're all furries. Mm. But he has a pet dog. 
Doesn't the dog communicate with the baby? Yeah, the Brain. dog and the baby talk. Now, Brain is a different character. Brain, is Brain a bear? I don't know, because he looks like Arthur, but Arthur's supposed oh, to be Arthur's an Arthur. Oh, yeah. Although Arthur originally was drawn with a really long nose. And that was like the point. Oh yeah, he wasn't he like bullied for his long yeah. nose and then he found acceptance and then the artist. Yeah, it was a book rid of it. about a, an aardvark getting made fun of because he had a long nose. That makes way, way more sense than yeah. what I never knew that. Yeah, look oh, you've never okay. seen original Arthur? You gotta look up original Arthur. It's actually really scary. I mean I've seen him, but I didn't know what the stories were about. Yeah. So my puffle looks like it's smiling through the pain. <laughs> okay, I'm zooming out now. I'm looking at the the full scope of things right now. Oh, Jane, you look sick, Jane. You're an awesome you. little prairie dog. You <laughs> definitely, you got the hands behind that. I think that is the best pose for you, Nick. Hey, everyone's really cute. What is the Neopet that's like, chases the gumdrops or whatever with the tail? Oh. Jub Jub? <laughs> Mirka? I think it's, it's Jub Jub a furry. Mirka? Yeah, this thing's a furry. <laughs> you can't say Jub Jub is a furry. Jub Jub is like... <laughs> no, not Jub Jub. M Mirka. Okay. Mirka. Mirka. <laughs> no, don't say Mirka. No, I don't think so. Mirka. Mirka. Oh, we just got demonetized. My first owner's name is Pearl, and she's really lazy, and she gives good advice. She's like the person who people are like, Pearl, I have a problem, and she's like laying in her bathtub, and she's like, all right, what'd you got? <laughs> Do they come Sometimes. to her in her bathtub, or is she carrying no, a bathtub on the around phone. with her? And she's like doing a, a face mask, and she has one of those like boards for your, your bathtub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she yeah, always has I, a I snack it. on her tummy. That's sick. I um, really like her, actually. I do. Do you want to? Do you want to hang out with my my persona, Elish? His name is. <laughs> his, <laughs> he can't blink. <laughs> his name is. His name is. Um. His name is Blinky. I no. decided. But <laughs> um, well, he can't blink. That's Look at why, his eye. That's why his parents named him that. Like, Jane, you're just jealous because my persona is a lot taller than yours. <laughs> uh huh. And he has a thumb. about which personas could kick which persona's ass, bro. Well. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we didn't talk about which powers all of our personas have. Mine has um, the power of friendship. Yeah, mine oh. has. Um, Snackage. My character can control tectonic plates. Um, that's okay, cool. you know, Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah, Classic he, no. Jack Burke OP. Uh, you, know, yeah. you know what? I'm the side. Classic. This little this little crab. Yeah. What what can a, what can this crab bench press, bro? No, oh, he doesn't have to bench press anything. He can just move the earth underneath him. I, I'm. Uh, that's not canon. It is. Yeah. It's it's, it's actually not. true. Look at you. You have no indication that you could have any sort of powers controlling the earth. You're just wearing a jacket. Yeah. Well, it's an earth jacket, so. Oh no, we're right. Oh, it's enchanted? Yeah, it's enchanted with uh, with Earth Magic. My persona Blinky has um has mind powers and, of course. It, yeah, that's, that's and it can go into your crab's mind and um, turn off the part of its brain that has access to the tectonic plate powers. So wow. I do that. <laughs> that's it interesting. It teleports behind you and does it. I, I that's kinda cute that you think you could actually do that, but the problem <laughs> is um, is that because yeah, uh -huh. he's the, because he's a crab, the shell is actually impenetrable for psychic uh, brain waves. Um, yeah, it doesn't work. Like you're, you can only do that to mammal brains, but I don't have. I have a crab brain. Probably will hang out with Blinky, but only if you buy her snacks. That's a fair trade. That sounds Claire, good. What is your? I think her name is Flippy because her parents were gamers and they really liked the Sega Genesis game Flippy. <laughs> uh, about okay. the, the blue okay. penguin who Conceived rescues other yeah, animals. <laughs> Speed run. Yeah, she was definitely conceived during. <laughs> oh, it was a, it was a baby speed run. If you know what I mean. <laughs> take that, take that out, <laughs> the idea of being conceived during a speed run enough is really funny. Yeah, well, it was actually really hard for her growing up because her parents were consumed by getting their their number down, their personal best down. So it's kind of insensitive that you're making. I thought you that. were gonna say they were consumed by the void or something. Well, that too, because they were playing, they were in Club Penguin on the iceberg. And you know how if you got enough people on the one side, it would flip? Yeah. Yeah, it and the herb, Yeah, it flipped and they uh, disappeared. Oh, I need Aww. a name for my guy. So sad. She wasn't that close to him, so it's okay. Okay. My guy's name is Augie. 
Oh, I'm really looking cool. girl. Which is why I'm taking my sweet, <laughs> sweet time to color her yeah, beauty. Yeah, but I'm always. Hmm? You have a health bar of 20 HP. Is that a lot of <laughs> context of that? I, I, you know what? I'm not sure. Okay, you know what? I have a thousand HP and I kill you. You know what? <laughs> oh, look at me. My first one is name. I don't know. I like dump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait. Everyone knocked this out of the park. This is amazing. I love I your color, really Claire. Like we could look things. really sick at the mall. We could. Or the water park. I guess I'm using my psychic powers on you, Claire. <laughs> 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 That's okay. She kind of looks like her mind is blank. Uh, I guess uh, thanks for watching, guys. What do you think of our epic furries? They're very um, cool. What do you think of Juicebox? <laughs> what do you think of Juicebox as an original character? Do not steal. Please don't. <laughs> so sick. Well, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, it's always fun to do these little uh, these little drawing games and stuff. I know they're not nearly as popular as some of the other videos on our channel, but they're still a lot of fun to do. So. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed them as much as we did. And uh, uh, subscribe, and that's it. Oh, uh, like. Like and subscribe. Like and su I knew there was something else. Um, Notification check, bell, check, that's check out the Check out the Twitch. Check out the Twitch, yep. Uh, Smash that like button. Smash Tell that. us what powers your persona would have. Tell us what powers your persona yep. would have. Okay, bye. 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 <laughs>